Well, hello there. Hi, this is Douglas Pinch. I, yeah, you may have seen my previous videos. Uh, if not, uh, my name is Douglas, not Doug. Doug is something you do to a hole, and that is not me. I, well, I wanted to share a, uh, a, a rather not pleasant experience with you today. Uh, I had something happen to me. I, now, something that I like to do, or used to like to do, I'm not doing it anymore after this, but I will go to hospitals to rate their service levels. And the way that you do that is you'll, you'll go into uh, this agency and you'll be assigned a, uh, an ailment or a disease, just something. And then you go to uh, three or four hospitals throughout the day and uh, you basically rate how well they treat you uh, for whatever um, ailment you have. So I, I'm assigned this, uh, this, this problem, and what it was is I, I had, had been in a chemical spill, uh, so I didn't know who I was, I didn't know where I was. Uh, uh, pretty straightforward, I, uh, you know, um, had a lot of flexibility to have some fun with that role. Um, and so I go to, the, to this hospital, and they have a decontamination tent set up out front. Uh, the nurses are they're not really paying attention to me or anything and so i start to to wander off uh, and so I, that, that they catch me fairly quick um, they bring me back into the tent uh, and i think they're angry at me for wandering off because they they cut my clothes off i don't know if that was really uh, necessary uh, and so they cut my clothes off and they push me into a, a shower uh, but it's not really a shower they just it's a, a shower area where they spray me with a hose and throw some uh, soap powder on me and hose me down some more. And I felt like I was in the Shawshank Redemption. I mean, it was just awful. And, uh, and you'd think that, well, surely that, uh, that's the worst thing that happened to him that day. And I, I tell you, that, uh, I would have been a, a good day had that been the case. Uh, so they cleaned me off and, and then they put some scrubs on me. Um, they didn't have my size, so I, you know, they they came up to about my ankle. So I put those on, and I, they're not watching me again. You'd think they'd learn their lesson, but they just didn't. So I start to wander off again, and they catch me fairly quick again. And this time, uh, you know, they were clearly unhappy with me, uh, and so they strapped me to a gurney. Uh, and well, like I said, that that tent was outside of the hospital and the gurney was outside of the tent. I'm not sure why they did that. It was a, an odd choice, but they strapped me down to this gurney that's outside the tent, just out in front of the hospital. A uh, little bit of an odd situation. And they walk away and leave me, leave me be again, but they forgot to set the brakes on this gurney. And so I'm rolling downhill, uh, screaming, screaming, help me, help me, help me, I'm gonna die. Uh, and they're chasing after me, chasing after me, but it was a, it was a bit too late uh, because I, I ended up rolling through the parking lot and out into the, the street, at, at the main road out in front of the hospital. And I tell you, that's a, that's a busy road. I roll into the road and I'm hit by a, a rather large truck. So I, I broke a few ribs, uh, broke my arm, had a lot of cuts on my legs. I was bleeding quite a bit. And you'd think, well, well, at least he was at the hospital, you know, how convenient. But it wasn't. No, they said for legal reasons, we, we can't help you. No, and uh, they refused to take me to another hospital. And so I had to hitchhike to the, the next hospital. And uh, after a while, a, a very nice policeman picked me up. Um, and I told him, I have to go to the hospital. I'm losing a lot of blood. Uh, but no, no, he didn't take me there. He took me back to the precinct. Uh, and he made me go inside with him and, uh, and fill out some paperwork, but I, uh, he walked away. He had to go use the restroom. So I, I left and, uh, and I just w kept walking to the next hospital. Uh, but, you know, by the time I made it, uh, I, I had lost so much blood that I, I truly uh, had no idea who, who I was or where I was. Quite frankly, very lucky uh, to be here today. Uh, and. I would, uh, I would only recommend to my watchers here that you, that you try and, uh, and uh, stay away from hospitals. They're dangerous places. 
Oh, oh, uh, this is not a paid advertisement for the hospitals. This is not a paid advertisement for the hospitals. Thank you.